Now you really integrated with some of the inmates. Did you expect that to happen? I wanted to really live this. I wanted to know what an entire class of people that I've never interacted with were like. What was your intention, your goal in going into the program? I planned on becoming a detective at some point. You have to be a police officer first. And I couldn't just send someone to jail uh, for, for terrible laws, knowing, you know, I, I could just be ruining this person's life over uh, possession of, uh, you know, a blunt or something like that. Do you still want to be a police officer? No, I do not. And that's as a result of your time in jail? Um, absolutely. I don't feel right enforcing broken laws. I just feel like uh, I could handle much, much larger issues like trying to reform the law rather than uh, enforcing it. Gentlemen, what do you make of that? Some of the things he said, and no offense, Ryan, you know, like doing large jail bets for a uh, blunt doesn't occur in, in Indiana. They might have told you that. And I understand he spent a lot of time with these people, so um, he only gets to hear the story that they tell. Now, you went against the advice that you were given in training about selling commissary yeah. items. Tell me about the, the tray store that you created. I mostly did even trades. Any one of y'all be interested in selling y'all business and brain for a honey yeah. bun or a diamond? So I would give something for something immediately. I didn't really get involved in future markets or owing people. All I ever did was just go up in the world. Sheriff, you're not happy about No, I'm this. pretty disappointed because we gave him specific instructions not to do that. And I know he sits over and easy now because nothing happened to him to say there was no risk, but there was. I only dealt with people that I knew were smart business, good business, people that trusted me and that I trusted people I was good with. That was really all it was. There was an inmate named Justin who had some debts to pay, and you helped him out with your business. I got seven bucks, bro. I don't want to see somebody just being preyed on like that. So I went and grabbed everything that I had and basically got him completely out of debt. Dion, what do you make of Ryan's business? There's a lot of people like Justin in jail. Uh, it's a lot of risks, and people just stick to, you know, eating eight three trays a day. Like you're still gonna be hungry, of course, but it's better than owing somebody a noodle or something. Captain Maples, you had to actually intervene and remove Ryan from the pod and talk to him. You gotta keep in mind, you're still in here on a program. But I do still have an honor code. I have to keep some people close while I am here. You're getting a little bit too M80. We wanted to just make sure the end goal was the same. You know, we need perspective of this jail. You know, we don't need you to become an inmate. Sheriff, how did Ryan help you as a participant in the program? Well, unfortunately, he showed me a lot of what not to do. So today's lunch truck? Uh, no, everything else today's already been gotten. And then Friday's B's and G's trays. So he actually blended right into the inmate hierarchy and did stuff that they were doing that he wasn't supposed to do. Uh, I think it was misconstrued that I was just trying to, you know, be inmatey. And that may have technically been the case, but it wasn't really the, uh, the goal. I was weak in that environment. I was someone that they felt comfortable messing with. We're gonna have to get his ass tonight. Do you think that your actions led to you becoming a target? It's not that there was anything specific that I did, but it was more what I didn't do. Where you come from, my guy? Yeah, it was how I carried myself. It was how I responded. Where were you at? Uh, the, um, what do you call it? You mean the, like the, the pod? When I went in, I was not thinking like an inmate. And that's what exposed me to the pod? that harassment. Ryan, you just realized who he was from watching the video. Yeah, the lack of beard, well-groomed, and you know, no glasses kind of threw me off. But I definitely remember that. Really, that was just recreation. This is game time. Mm -hmm. We were bored. Ryan, you used the word we. 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 You were talking about you and the rest of the inmates. Yeah. Were you part of it? Uh, I wasn't part of it. I understood it. Um, after I blended and got in with everybody, I could understand why they were doing it. Everybody was just bored. Sheriff, you're, you don't seem to be buying that. Oh, I'm not amused by it, I'll tell you that. It's disturbing to me. I think that's how bully starts. That's how it starts in the schools. That's how it starts in the pod. It's not fun. I didn't think it was cute. It's one thing to joke, but this is beyond that. 
joking or not, there's going to be criminal charges placed on the inmates that were involved in some of this stuff. Unfortunately, sometimes even people that we put in in an undercover capacity assimilate and start acting like inmates. Um, Just for the record, I had a job to do, and I had to adapt to that. I tried to do it as well as I could. I, I, I said this before. I wasn't trying to pass this. I was trying to ace this. I didn't want to just go in and survive. I wanted to thrive, and I felt like I did that.